This is the overview figure showing all the viruses you need to know. In this section, we will be discussing the West Nile virus and St. Louis encephalitis virus, which you can see right here. Our story of West Nile and St. Louis encephalitis takes place in a news broadcasting studio during an outbreak of these viruses. We can see the banner right here along the bottom. It says, breaking news, West Nile and St. Louis encephalitis ravage North America. From the red and warm color scheme, we can tell that both of these are RNA viruses. We like to use dark colors for DNA viruses and red and warm colors for RNA viruses. So red warm colors for RNA. The news station has a split screen effect going on at the top right. The left of these two images shows a live feed of the St. Louis Arch with swarms of mosquitoes. The right image shows the West Nile with mosquitoes ravaging that area as well. Having the St. Louis Arch and the West Nile right next to each other on this image should help you remember that these viruses are so similar to one another that you should think of them together. Now notice that there is a rainbow reflecting off of the water in both images. These positive rainbows indicate that both viruses are positive scents. So positive rainbows for positive scents. Now here's a microphone for the news studio. It has the shape of an icosahedron. This shape will help you remember that St. Louis encephalitis and West Nile virus have icosahedral capsids. Now the epidemic has spread so far that it's reached the news studio itself. You can see all the mosquitoes swarming the place. This indicates that these viruses are transmitted through mosquito bites. 